What's the cringiest thing you've ever seen at a wedding? I hate to admit that the cringiest story is, in fact, from my own wedding. We had basically planned for my husband's family friend, who is a pastor, to be our officiant. Now, I'm not a religious person, but I'm open to different beliefs so I never raised any questions about this. My family as a whole is a bit agnostic or atheistic. By contrast, my husband's late mother was a Sunday school teacher, and his family is quite religious. So, we went to the pastor's house to discuss our wedding plans. During the conversation, he asked me if I wanted to center our marriage around God. Speaking honestly, I said no. Things got awkward really fast. We started going back and forth about why I didn't accept Jesus and how he thought it was not right. The pastor was also a little upset that we were having our wedding at a country club. Eventually, he refused to officiate our wedding. My husband was devastated since this was his friend, but luckily we got our town's mayor to step in and marry us. I ended up creating our own ceremony from scratch and wrote the whole thing myself. However, the mayor had recently had knee surgery and couldn't stand for very long. She mentioned to us privately that she hoped to do this quickly, and in her rush, she misread a bit of what I had written. She even called my husband by the wrong name multiple times instead of his actual name. It was pretty funny because she was on painkillers and went off script for a bit. It honestly reminded us of that movie I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. She even did the whole marriage as a circle thing. We had to hold back our laughter. And you won't believe this, but that pastor showed up and watched the entire ceremony. We even took a picture with him at our wedding. But guess what? He cropped us out and made it his profile picture, along with his wife. Despite all the weird stuff, though, I could not be happier 30 years later. A wedding doesn't make a marriage, the people do.